Get your indie fix at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. Get 15% off any digital download with the coupon code TUNNY. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Indie Mayhem Show, number seven, still rolling here. Of course, I'm Sorgatron, at Sorgatron on the Twitters, a video producer here in the Pittsburgh area with some promotions like the International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and other stuff around the area. Uh, and of course, with me as usual from San Antonio, Texas, although we've established he pretty much lives all over Texas. Uh, is Eamon, uh, the great announcer for the uh, uh, up-and-coming Inspire Pro Wrestling. How you doing, sir? I am doing fantastic. Just coming off of a great weekend of working Inspire Pro Wrestling, and I'm sure that we will talk about that uh, later in the show. But we've got a special guest, uh, am I right, Sorg? Yes, we do. But before we get to that, I want to let you guys know how you can get at the show. Of course, all this stuff is part of WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We spun the indie out. Uh, so we can make sure we have a nice long discussion and talk to people in the business in various facets. Not just the wrestlers. We're talking to the announcers. We're talking about people doing video pictures, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, just a really, you know, we dig pro pro indie wrestling, and uh, and we kind of want to share that and have a conversation about it. And we've been having a blast with it so far. Uh, of course, you can drop us a line over at good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Please, uh, subject line indie mayhem. Uh, so we know it's for this show specifically, but I'm sure we'll figure it out content-wise. Uh, and, of course, uh, 412-206-WMS0. We're on Twitter at Mayhem Show, uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook, on Google+. And also look up for the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group where a lot of the conversation is, com- is happening amongst the fans, amongst the crew, amongst anybody else dropping by. And we're having a lot of fun in there these days. And, of course, you can find this show on iTunes, on YouTube, on Stitcher, on Spreaker, um, all over the place. And if there's anything we're missing, hey, let us know uh, where you want to get in the Mayhem Show, and we'll get that figured out. And please comment on it wherever you're finding us, especially iTunes and YouTube and stuff like this. Let, let us know what you dig and what you don't dig. Let us know people you think we should get on the show, too. Uh, mm-hmm. All that kind of stuff. So, uh, And, of course, the show is here live, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. You can join us in the chat room, ask questions, interact with us. Uh, as we go. So uh, our interview here, you know, this is a guy I've been promising to get on the Mayhem show for the longest time. Uh, so I feel bad about that, but I, you know how I am with scheduling. This has been a great exercise, Eamon, in, in, in making sure I schedule interviews. And, and I think we've, we, we, <laughs> we've, always nice. we've almost nailed down the formula for making sure we get that down. Um, <laughs> but uh, a guy that I, I've got to see a lot here, of course, with the uh, IWC, uh, and we'll talk about he's had a lot of some pretty interesting and fun success, uh, it, it seems, in the, in the IWC. Keith Hot joins us. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing, Sorg? Pretty good. Awesome, awesome. And, and of course, you're the first one. This is, this is actually a technical feat because you're the first one to join us <laughs> via FaceTime. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about the technical difficulties. No, not an issue. Hey, not an issue. You, you, I, it's, it's interesting to kind of figure out who is technically savvy as we go and with what, and there's like how many different video platforms. Uh, and, and it's great to know this is an option that we can do now. <laughs> thank, thank goodness. Cause I have, I have no idea what's going on with the Google thing. <laughs> so uh, we, you're one of the guys that we haven't talked to uh, on mayhem show or anything like that before. Uh, so listen, well, first of all, how long have you been wrestling? Um, it is now going on about four years. Um, I debuted in, actually in February of uh, 2010, hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about four years. Awesome, awesome. And um, so, uh, let me know, like, how how um, uh, how did you get into pro wrestling? Like, initially, like, what was the first thing where, like, you know, was it like, you know, seeing Hulk Hogan or something like that? Oh, I mean, from being a, a kid? Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh. That's a long story. Um, actually, uh, ever since before I was even born, uh, my mom was a big fan uh, um, when she grew up, and uh, I was actually actually went to my first show uh, when, while she was when she was pregnant with me. Actually, quite honestly, so that's very interesting. <laughs> it's like I was destined to be a fan. 
that's awesome. From the womb. <laughs> yes, from the womb. <laughs> right before, like, just months before I was born, she went to a show, show with me and uh, just grew up as a kid and always went to shows. I was always a big fan of, yeah, there was always Hogan, but that was still kind of young. But I guess the ones I really was inspired by, I guess, uh, I would have to say maybe like uh, Mick Foley and uh, Taker and Austin. Those are big ones. I mean, that was, that was an ad to Eric. What can I say? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So at what point did you decide, hey, this is something, you know, I think I want to get in there. Or were you always kind of uh, tussling with a wrestling buddy or something as a kid? Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's a tough one to ask. I don't ask, but I answer certainly. Uh uh just kind of happened really i mean i've always i think it's every kid's dream to be in the be in the squared circle but uh it just the sheer luck that i was a just had a chance to and i was like yeah i'm, I'm taking it <laughs> <laughs> now you're of, of course you know you're not i don't want to say not athletic but you're a different body type than most you know a lot of wrestlers I'm, out there i'm ad long <laughs> what's that <laughs> definitely ab, i'm definitely ab ab, ab, nah, ab long ab long <laughs> abnormal <laughs> um but you seem to uh really kind of take it on take it straight like it's become kind of part of who you are part of your character and i know uh i first got to witness you i want to say the first proving grounds that iwc held uh, out in white oak uh where they bring a lot of young or new new people in um you know, you know what kind of you know how did you kind of develop your style you know i don't know around that complimenting that like what what was that process like and how you got to there uh, well, quite honestly, um, that was, well, that was my first one. That was, uh, that was, that was my debut at IBC. That, that is, um, well, I guess I really don't have a quote unquote style. I, I just tend to go with the flow and work multiple styles, which what's given. I try to be able to work multiples that way. Let's try to be more versatile just so way I can work if anybody, mm -hmm. so to speak. That's what I try to do. So, and one thing, uh, you uh, had a pretty good stint uh, here with, uh, and we're showing a little footage here on the video version with uh, Colin Delaney in IWC. How did this come about? I, <laughs> is this, uh, uh, can I tell you the whole story? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, well, well um, we got plenty of time. This is quite a, quite a, quite a, well, it's about, without getting too in much detail, it was basically just uh, higher ups or like, um, Essentially, just got a text from. I just I don't want. I really just too specific with it. Like a higher up was like, "Yeah, we're thinking about putting you with Collins." Like, ah, this is this is this is a rib, right? This is this is, this is happening. Wait, no, you're serious? Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, hell, hell yeah, I want to do that. I can learn so much. It was so awesome. Uh, that was like, wow, I can, wow. And then this this happened, and then yeah, I've just learned so much from Colin. Is so awesome. He has so much experience. I've yeah, I've just learned so much, and I'm so thankful. Awesome. How was that? Like, I mean, of course, Colin Delaney is a guy who was in WWE, you know, known for uh, his stint with ECW. Uh, the, he calls himself the extremely cute wrestler. You know, uh, you know what, what? What was it like? Like you know, teaming up with a, a guy that's, that's got so much experience and got to the main stage. Oh, wow! Not gonna lie, I was really nervous. <laughs> I was really nervous because I just. Didn't know how I was gonna be at first, but he's been so cool, and he's uh, he's taught me so much, and just how and I've been just learned how it's like, like from him how much different it is at that stage compared to where we are now in indie level, uh, indie, level, uh, indie wrestling, and it's it was it's been quite an experience. It's really hard to put into a lot of words, but it's 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 quite amazing. Awesome, awesome. Um, I do have to ask, <laughs> we actually have a shot of you giving the, uh, uh, putting Dennis Gregory, Gregory in your, uh, in your, in your endowments, apparently. <laughs> from, what? From what? Meadville, from, uh, your six-man tag in Meadville last year. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, the, oh, the endowment, yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Yeah. And it looks like you have a lot of fun out there, and, and that's when I the one thing I notice whenever you guys come out, you're 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 always dancing. He, yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. he's he's honestly he's uh, he's the better dancer though. I just I'm just I am just uh, going out of control and just having a blast. And man, that happened. I just saw the motorboat clip. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the motorboat clip in the live feed. That happened. Um, 
but yeah, I just, I always try to have as much fun as possible because if you're not having fun and really what's the point sometimes, you know, with, you know, with anything really. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever gone karaoke with Colin Delaney? Yes. <laughs> okay, it, thank you. It we, a saw, blast. we saw him um, a few years ago at the fan clave for King of Trios, and they had Jakari Yoki, I, I, whatever they called it. And uh, he, was, <laughs> he was very, very into it. He was, he, he was they were supposed to like you, the fans come up and they karaoke, but he would go and he like took over like, you know, it was a, so when they were still at ECW arena, it was like walking on chairs, help him and other people sing. And he just like took over the entire room. Is, is, is yeah. that what it's like? Just like at the karaoke bar? It's, um, it's pretty insane to watch, but, uh, I actually joined in too of some others, uh, various wrestlers from IBC. We all, Joined in at a bar where there was karaoke, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, they can. I think we're all decent singers. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. It, it was it was a blast uh, singing Savage Garden and serenading the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin, Colin sang. Uh, oh, what was it? Uh, Space Jam. Uh, I believe I can fly. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I think it was that. I, th- I think it was that. I th- I'm pretty sure it was that. And <laughs> oh yeah, and I think that. And well, then he was just charade and show, but he, he flew out of the. He pretended to fly out of the bar. And then he came back in. <laughs> awesome. Um, so we had this kind of mystery pop up here uh, over the last uh, month or so. Um, mm. We have some friends that have been going in, and I always wanted to he- head down there, but uh, I'm always got something else going on with one of these other groups or something. Um, Mm -hmm. but KSWA, which is a group that, uh, I I think, you know, Lord Zoltan, guys like that are involved with that, uh, here in the Pittsburgh area. And, and I started seeing like some of my friends Instagramming these pictures from the show. Oh no. And I started seeing, and I got a picture here of, of, you know, this is one of theirs, but you know, you know where it's going to come from, uh, (laughs) of this guy in face paint. That yeah, looked very similar to you, and it's like, nah, it couldn't be. <laughs> it couldn't be. No. Uh, mm. What? What is the story here? One confirm or deny? Is this you in the face paint? Uh, I, and I didn't catch like the name or anything like that. Yeah, he looks pretty familiar. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's 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 the that's the other the other gimmick. Mm-hmm. Mystery solved here on the rest or on the Indie Mayhem show. <laughs> so I, I, I want to make sure DJ Lunchbox listens to this one um, for sure. Uh, what 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 are you got, what are you doing over there? Are, are you dancing? Is it is, um, it, is it similar to what I, we're seeing I, over I, I guess now? I might be, but uh, ever since the becoming a good guy there, it's kind of weird having that get, that get him as a good guy. But um, it's it's basically just an alternate version of, of me, I guess, just uh, with face paint. He's Called the jester because he's very jester looking. It's just, but it was it was all it was all originally just designed to be because I was when I was breaking in, um, I didn't I wasn't uh, key fought was kind of I was be honest key fought was bad, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, and I just needed something else to, for just a, a, a gimmick and uh, and they had an idea to where I'd be partner with this guy his gimmick was he was a king and he had a jester. And I just took off with it. It was originally just me and a little bit of makeup and like an outfit. Then turned to me just that was the first time we ever put on trunks. <laughs> and then it just <laughs> took off from there and just he's this crazy outlandish she's he's nuts. <laughs> and it's just that that's the idea of that gimmick. He's pretty much polar he's like the polar yin and yang of Keith, and that's mm-hmm. it's pretty fun. Awesome. Do you have a preference on, on, on which which side of yourself you let out there? Uh, for that gimmick, it's it's better suited to be a bad guy. Better suited for a heel. Mm-hmm. But, but that's I, I get to experience. I get to yeah, utilize that more. It's a black diamond wrestling, mostly mm-hmm. done in wheeling. I get to do it. I do it really. I think more effectively there. The, the case of it's been turned. I've been, I've been yeah. I'm now a good guy there. But uh, and it's, it's like I dance around a little bit more and do Gondam style occasionally. And it, somebody shouted mm-hmm. Jester style, and it was the weirdest thing ever. But it's 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 cool. It's fun. I have it's it's wacky. 
Um, you got to, uh, it, it, I was actually reminded of this, and, and, uh, and uh, you actually got to do a promo with uh, Mark Madden, the legendary Mark Madden. Friday oh, that was, that was fun. <laughs> with uh, Aiden Ville. I think you guys were setting up for a tag team match at this point. Mm, set up for uh, uh, the Triple Threat. Dad Triple Threat, yeah. I knew it was, it was multiple teams. So, of course, Aiden, Aiden Vale with his uh, uh, We Are Rock Stars War with Jordan Lennox. Uh, you were, of course, mm. with Tags in this video. You got the belts there. Uh, <laughs> that that had been fun. It was it was pretty fun, and well, God, it's true. Mark Madden's. I don't want to ruin his reputation, but he's pretty nice in person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're playing like a yeah, mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. For me, um, uh, filming those uh, CSRs, the Church Art Realities, over the summer, there you always got the stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah funny. Funny stories, like that, like stories. I probably can't repeat repeat stories, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably not. Uh, some good stuff there. So, what do you um? You you've been a pro wrestler for for four years. Um, what are you you know digging and not digging about it so far? You know, there's got to be ups and downs, and we kind of like you know just you know us. We're not on that side of things. That, you know, Aim and I we're you know pretty much more on the production side of things, uh, not mm. in the ring with you um you know what what are the 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 kind of pluses and minuses of what's going on out there <sighs> well um where do i start um i guess i'll start <laughs> with the pluses uh well i mean it's it's ah uh, how do i describe this it is probably the single greatest feeling in the world when you step through the curtain it there's another great feeling it's always been so fantastic mm -hmm. from day one um that'll never go away um and all the great experiences you make for people you have road trips with um and all the amazing fans and people you meet and just so much nice people that's is the greatest experience so far you know and just learning and constantly getting better it's it's all a positive thing i mean that's that's definitely the best the best the positive things that will always stay there's no doubt about that um, uh, no, it's really hard to dig into the negatives because uh, there's, there's, there's. I mean, because there's always, there's always negatives. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, for, for negatives. Uh, luckily, I, I feel like I, I feel like wrestling is going to be. I feel, I feel like it's it's going to be going to hot. I feel, I feel like I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it, but I think I feel like it's going to get hotter soon. I think I feel like it's it's. it's gonna be a good time soon to be in wrestling mm -hmm. i don't know what, what, what do you think about it um it definitely feels like i think that's one of the reasons we do the show is you know aim and i have talking about hey there's cool stuff out there and i feel like mm -hmm. it's becoming with technology with the internet with these on-demand services uh, maybe we'll talk about a little bit later it, it feels like there's more opportunity right mm, yeah that, that, that's that's pro that's that's probably a good way to put it um mm -hmm. with all the social media and like this, I just write the show, for instance. That there is a lot more ways to get exposure, mm -hmm. but it's hard to get, you know, exposure so often. It's that's 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 a big thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, and I know you're you're on Facebook. You're I, I see you on Twitter and everything. Like, is there you know, do you does that help? Are you able to connect a little bit better with your fans that you you've gained I, over these few years? I, I think I think so. Mm -hmm. I I, th I I believe so. I mean, I think it, it definitely doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely doesn't hurt to just always constantly get words out there. I just you know even even let you know, or really let people know what a show is, or or what's going on here. Or look at this promo. Look at this match. You know, just just I don't I don't, I don't think it definitely nothing hurts. You know. Yeah. I don't. I think everything every little bit helps. I definitely it, it would uh, if only it was like a, just a perfect world where. Pretty much, you know, we had TV or something, you know, we're on nationally, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that'd be amazing, but, uh, you know, I mean, not everybody has that, you know. Or it's hard. So, like I said, it's hard to get spoken. So you have to pretty much rely on social media and the air, you know, the internet and internet shows and just everything and DVDs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, we, um, we kind of were kind of uh, uh, just, you know, just throwing some ideas out there, spitballing on the Mayhem show. You know, what about this idea of, you know, what, what if the WWE Network started, like, pulling in indies, you know, and saying, and, and showcasing some of that, and, you know, 
you never know. They're given knowledge, you know, they're given acknowledgement the Ring of Honor for the collection what? of guys they have now, you know. Isn't that nuts? It's it is pretty crazy to think about. I mean that high of a pedestal just it shows that. I mean, mm-hmm. even show like I guess I'll bring up punk punk or something, but it, it, like even watching his DVD, they show like all the other little clips in the hit, like the indies he was at. That was pretty interesting. Awesome. So I do have to ask. Um, we were talking, trying to set up for this, and uh, and and you. It sounds like you're one of us because you were setting up for a game night. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, the, the, what, tell me about the game night. How, how do how do you hang out? Ah, wow, that's uh, well, yeah, I I I, I think where you come from, yes, I guess I am one of you. I, I I'm definitely one of you guys. I am a super, I'm a super geek. I'll admit it. I I love comic books. I love video games. I just love to read. Uh, every Monday night, uh, me unspecified. There are other workers and just and friends of workers. Um, we'll have we'll get together and have a Dungeon Dragons game night every Monday. It's a no. session. Uh, it's it can go on from about seven o'clock to sometimes four in the morning. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think I think uh, one of the first matches we saw you and you actually had that, it, the Legend of Zelda tights. Yeah, um, a friend maybe those uh, had the Triforce in the front, the back. It said. On my butt, on my butt area, it's a legend of hot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. you know, and there's a lot of, and there's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, you, you, got, you seem to have a lot of fun uh, with with your name with that. I, I know uh, Dabrowski seems to have some pleasure in calling the hot mess. He certainly does. Which I believe is, which I believe is <laughs> yeah, your splash off the top. I love, I love hearing him on commentary. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you, you definitely inspire the commentary team. Uh, whatever I've seen you. So many hot puns. <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun having that name. It is legit. My real name is Keith Hot, so mm-hmm. it's legit to have that funny name that I've always got poked at all my life. <laughs> <laughs> but no benefit to you, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely hasn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome um great so so uh, how, how have you um uh what do you have coming up um well uh month of february or just um everything that i can tell you right now hey general anything you want to plug right now where can um, people find keith hot oh the life of keith hot the life or rest oh no no where can people find keith hot <laughs> oh where can people find keith hot oh okay uh well Okay, start up. Okay, this week, um, February twenty first, um, Black Diamond is having a show in Brilliant. Um, it's um, middle school, but uh, it should be pretty fun. There'll be some pretty cool matches. There'll be a Tower of Terror match where we have to climb, and I'll be in that match since the main event. And we gotta climb this high tower and grab about. Oh God, I hope we don't fall. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, those things scare me. Uh, I hate heights. Um, and on the twenty second, there'll be two shows. Um, Actually, there's there are three shows going on that day, but I'll only be able to make two, unfortunately. Um, but there's also the Alistair Seminar at two o'clock at uh, IWC. Uh, look on the websites for that IWC training facility. Um, there's uh, also be of course we have the show with um, along with Luke Gallows. Uh, or sorry, actually, so I said Doc or Luke, uh, Luke Gallows. No, they're they're calling Luke Gallows on the site actually. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, okay. okay, I didn't want to mess up there, uh, but um, yeah, he'll be there too. <laughs> Al Snow at. Uh, uh, IWC New Era. I'll I'll be in the Battle Royal. Then um, later on that night, I'll be going to KSWA, and uh, I'll be so tired afterwards. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's that's it for this week. And there'll be a few shows in March. Um, I believe IWC is March first. Uh, yeah, whatever that first weekend is for Clearfield, I think it's first, it's first or second. Yeah, in Clearfield. I have no idea what we'll be doing there, but I'm pretty sure I'll be there. Um, can't remember what it is. It's first or second? Because uh, I think it's a that's a, that's a Saturday. I think it's yeah. the first, and I think second there'll be a another Black Diamond show. I can't remember where, but just you can check the website. Uh, um, 
Thank, thank goodness for websites, you know, because otherwise I've never been able to remember these schedules, right? <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, blackdiamondwrestling.webs.com if you want to check that out. Of course, I don't see wrestling.com. I don't know KSWA's offhand, but if you look up... Um, I got it right here. Keystone um, Wrestling Association on the Google. Uh, 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 net. All right, if you want to check out that stuff. Uh, of course, video-wise, I think the only one doing video, if you want to check out Key Thought, is IWC. You can check out all that stuff, a uh, mm-hmm. whole list of DVDs and everything uh, with him and, and his run there with Colin Delaney at uh, IWCWrestling.com. Uh, of course, SogatronMedia.com slash store. Thanks, Keith, for joining us. Anything you want to leave the people with? Um, I just want to say thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Um, it was so much fun. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties. And uh, <laughs> people... Uh, Come support any wrestling. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, always give a smile on my, bring a smile on my face. Seeing you guys in the, seeing seeing you guys in the crowd, and uh, just keep on being awesome. All right, I can't wait to be dancing this Friday. <laughs> Thanks for that. And, of course, we want to talk about some stuff happening over the weekend. Uh, one big thing, uh, Eamon here was a part of Inspire Pro Wrestling, had another show. How'd it go? Oh, how it went. It was so fun, Sorg. Uh, really, really fun times at uh, Light the Fuse, which was this past Sunday. Um, God, it, uh, that was, it was the most fun I've had at a wrestling show. Um, definitely a big learning experience. And it was the most... I, I think easiest show we've done. Uh, five shows in now, I think we're sort of really getting the hang of it and starting to to um, work well, work out all the kinks, and 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 um, you know put out a really awesome product. And and everyone seems super super positive and, and receptive. So it's it's really coming together really well. I think nice. um, a lot of really great matches on the card. There was it was a really top to bottom stack card, and there was a lot of really breakout performances. I think. Um, one of the definite matches of the year and definitely ma- big match of the year contender, contender that really rivals um, the Ray Rowe Chris Hero match we had last month was uh, ACH and Sammy Guevara. So good. Just unbelievably good. And I think this was a testament to Sammy can really be that next guy. Um, if there was a question in people's mind, I think this match definitely you know, silenced all those nice errors because mm-hmm. he's really got something. Um, there was a lot of good stuff. Uh, there was that. We had Robert Evans uh, coming back to Inspire in a great, great match against Ray Rowe. A lot of fun stuff there. Um, there were, a lot, like I said, a lot of breakout performances, even on some of the undercard, which was super cool to see. Um, a lot of people were working hard. A lot of people were busting out, um, you know, giving it their all, and that's really, really awesome. So um, I cannot wait to uh, to uh, go check out that event when it does come out. Look back. I get to call that show with uh, Gregory Simons for the majority of it, and that was so much fun. Uh, Greg is awesome, and, and I love working with him. Um, just really phenomenal stuff. Um, and there's stuff that's been coming out for Inspire Pro, too, uh, that you can keep updated on. Our next event is going to be April 27th. We're taking a bit of a break uh, due to South by Southwest. It's kind of difficult to run a wrestling oh, yeah. show in Austin during that, that time. That, 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 that just ridiculous. takes over the entire town, doesn't it? Pretty much. So it, it'd be difficult to even one, – one, the venue that we run at the Marquesa Hall in Deer is going to be booked up that whole month. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's just going to be difficult to run a show that month at all. So we will be back April 27th. One of the matches already announced is Mike Dell, who retained his championship uh, this past Sunday against Franco D'Angelo. He will be taking on the new number one contender, Unholy Gregory James. And also uh, the uh, return of uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Takai Watanabe uh, at uh, No Room to Die, which will be April 27th. So it'll be cool to have uh, Watanabe back. It was so much fun working with him uh, back in January. Uh, speaking of January, our January show, Ecstasy of Gold, is out on YouTube for free, um, which featured, one, the crowning of our first ever Inspire Pro champion in the culmination of the road to basically crowning the champion. And as Sorg is showing there, the phenomenal contest between Chris Hero and Ray Rowe. Just, it's one of the greatest matches I've ever gotten to see live. And watching it back, watching uh, Lex Librand, who, who we had on uh, last week, uh, his editing work and, and the work he put into the production, it, it takes that match to a whole new level. So I encourage you, even if you were at the event, to watch it back because it is so good. Um, it, it makes me feel all the feels, really. Um, so yeah, the, that's the stuff that we have going on. So you can check us out awesome. uh, at Inspire Pro Reds on Twitter. 
facebook.com inspire pro wrestling uh youtube at uh youtube.com slash inspire pro video and so much more stuff um go support us because i think we're going to be really trying to uh grow and develop and 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 just be as awesome as we can be and, and i i really think we can go uh, a long way with this so that was the exciting stuff that i had this weekend uh sora awesome. you're gonna have some exciting stuff uh this coming weekend. i will i will uh, but i wanted to comment because i i'm i'm always interested in checking out what you guys are doing um I, the video looks he's right the, the video really did pick up uh from that first show that he put out um I, i'm really i'm really happy with how how that's looking uh from what i'm seeing here so far i also love the name of your events you know i know you guys yeah, really talked fun. about they're they're very different uh our one of our uh <laughs> Uh, co-owners uh, Max Meehan definitely has a lot of say in it, and I love the ideas for yeah. it. Yeah, um, they're really really fun stuff. So. It, I mean, it's kind of like that. Um, you know, the I, I, like I, it feels kind of like what Chikara does because they kind of have mm-hmm. those like like you know, I'm gonna say wordy titles in the long run. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, more descriptive sort of. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Because I mean, sort anything, of like... anything like for groups around here or groups that I work for, it's like Fury or. Uh, a new era or or you know it, it they or like seem, aggression or like yeah yeah or re- they mean we make up words like revengeance or something right um, <laughs> i do like revengeance no excuses no no you know it, it, they sound like wwe stuff in the long run resurrection like one word that's a little bit longer that could be applied to pro wrestling boom and then you guys are like you know it, it's more i guess it kind of more lends to the theatrical side i know you guys are trying to I'd go yeah, I think we're trying to take a real different approach, uh, especially to Texas, because I think we're trying to do that balance of we've got a lot of solid wrestling mm-hmm. and the sort of just the wrestling that people can get into. We also have um, like characters and storytelling that we're really trying to push the bar with as far as like Texas goes and in general. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a lot of stuff that's more um, story driven and like storytelling stuff, which is really cool because it gets people captivated and gets people into it, which – um, I'm always, I've always been a fan of. It was really cool, especially this past show, um, uh, and it was cool to see on Ecstasy of Gold because of how big of a crowd we got that night. And if you can see on the video, sort of how it's showcased, I think is really awesome. And we, we got, I would say, about the same amount of crowd this month, which is really cool since we didn't have, a, um, like any real big like fly-ins. Mm-hmm. Uh, like we didn't have like Chris Hero or you know Watanabe or, or guys like that. It was just sort of our roster and our stories, and and people believed in it apparently. So mm-hmm. that's really really cool. So. Awesome. That's awesome. You got a really cool thing going on down there. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a busy weekend for me because apparently in Pittsburgh they like to book stuff on the same night so the b team is going to be <laughs> helping out a good bit here uh so of course first, uh, first of all uh, uh west newton we had actually wheels who helps with the sound uh for the renegade wrestling alliance rwa live.com a lot of fun um i actually just put together a best of one of their guys ryan mitchell who used to be in fcw who was signed by wwe for a good while now or a <laughs> good while a bit ago and we've had him on the wrestling mayhem show uh talking about that before uh, but you can check out that rwalive.com. And, of course, we were putting out DVDs, a few best of. There's going to be a best of uh, uh, 2013. Actually, you can already get it on the digital side. Um, but, again, a lot of fun show. Uh, and they actually, uh, they've announced a pretty, I guess, a pretty, it's going to be a pretty big show. Because they're going to the Cow U Convocation Center in April for a Support really? the Troops show. Yes. Um, that's, I mean, it's a pretty decent, I mean, I, don't, I, I can't imagine they're expecting to fill but they're they're combining with these other like i can't support the troops kind of functions i don't know mm-hmm. all the details other than what's in their press release on their website um but it's sounding like it's going to be a pretty big deal and i think it's really great for these guys um because they've been running out of west new not doing any shows like outside of that it, it like it feels like that promotion that runs in the same place in the same town like that's like the town's promotion you know what I mean? Right. Which isn't, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's a different kind of animal. But, um, um, and, and they've tried stuff in the past in other, in other places and varying successes or whatever reason uh, they didn't continue doing it. Uh, but I love that they're going. So it's California University, which is south of Pittsburgh. It's a decent sized uh, uh, university. You know, it's a smaller one, more or less. But they built this big convocation center. I don't even know what a convocation is. <laughs> <laughs> um but of course, uh, I'm looking forward to. It. I want to see what the what they do with this thing, and it's going to be. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to film, too. So, and that's when I'm personally going to be back with RWA. I'll of course be, you know, post editing all their shows for the next couple months. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's always been a, a great, great group 
uh, to work with there. Uh, Jesse Bell Smothers is on the card for this one, as well as, uh, you know, former WCW star uh, Lodi is going to be there taking on William the Hammer Roberts, who's a really, uh, uh, he's a big, tough guy. Um, he's been doing, having a lot of great matches. Of course, um, finally, Generation uh, Dead with uh, Jason Gory, Gory uh, and G Raver, that whole big turn. Um, you know, I love their match uh, last month when, when they came out as a tag team. I love just seeing the vicious pack of dog style uh, matches that they had. That might be a good challenge. I, I think I might pull that up when, you know, maybe I will take over and, and get some of the guys I'm a little <laughs> more familiar with. Um, so, nice. and other than that, of course, IWC Wrestling with our, you know, guests from earlier tonight here, Keith Hodd is going to be there. One second. Um, so, uh, but but they they're having something called a new era at Court Time Sports Center. You can check out more information on that at iwcwrestling.com. Uh, and of course, actually, they have a follow up show the next the, the very next weekend up in Clearfield, PA. So we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling. It's a I don't know. That's like two hours out of Pittsburgh. Does that seem right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be. You a know busy, more than me. <laughs> it's a busy busy time. Um, of course, they're going to have a battle royal. I love battle royals. Chachi hates I them. I love me some battle royals. <laughs> and so everybody's going to be that, be in there. RJ City versus Facade. RJ City, of course, the guy that's been on Nickelodeon. And he had a really good uh, feud there with um, um, Zima Ion. Shima Zion, actually, of, you know, currently on TNA. By uh, on there, you mean on, in IWC? Not in IWC, but... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorting some tech stuff here on the back end. Luke Gallows. What, what was he in TNA? Guy. Doc? And, oh, do, uh, the, what is he, the ambassador or, or the treasurer of Aces Director of I something. Uh, but he, of course, recently with Aces and Nates on TNA. Um, now wrestling course, for New Japan as part of the book. Oh, club. is he? Oh, yes, awesome. Indeed. Awesome. So it's real cool to have him uh, there and see what, what they're going to do with him. Of course, you know, formerly Festus. Uh, part of CM Punk's Straight Edge Society in the past. Um, and, uh, of course, Al Snow is the big name, I, I think, for this show. Um, he's going to be taking on Joseph Brooks, a local favorite here. And I think a graduate of the Team Taz Dojo, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he'll probably be a good one for us to interview in the, in the future as well. Um, sexy cal- talented dudes, including uh, Chess Flex, or we talked to last week, um, defending uh, Gregory Iron friend of wrestling mayhem show a really cool guy um he's got a great story there uh against andrew palace and their friend of the show uh john mcchesley ethan page all the ego ethan page which didn't i see his name pop up in something you came up with uh, uh he wrestles uh predominantly for aiw he's also wrestling i think for a lot of other uh up-and-coming promotions aaw uh, a few others in the midwest uh he's, he's definitely one of the up-and-coming talents i'd say yeah can't wait to, to check that out uh, both shows, I, I, I'm blessed to have such great wrestling here uh, locally, being able to uh, get a little, you know, up close and personal with a lot of it and, and helping getting it out there. You know, I, I, I you know, I'm glad we're kind of, it, it was been so slow during the month of January. And now <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to be able to not breathe wrestling until the end of the year, looking at my schedule. Uh, nice. But uh, man, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's great stuff. And it's great to be a part of all this stuff uh, in, you know, in my own little way. Uh, so yeah, iwcwrestling.com, rwalive.com. Um, so we did have a challenge this last week. We did have a challenge. Uh, we had a very interesting challenge. Sorg said you wanted some, you wanted some women's wrestling. I, I wanted some, some lady wrestling. time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, but, but seriously. And, and so we had Jessica Havoc. Great yes, playlist indeed. you put together there. Well, so yeah. So what, what, what are your thoughts uh, coming out of, uh, uh watching that, uh, um, sort of her stuff? Great representation of women's wrestling. I actually uh, tweeted out to, to tease it for the show tonight. Um, I said, hey, you know, check out our playlist, Jessica Havoc. Maybe it'll make Chachi like women's wrestling. And, of course, Chachi, who, who films with, with me for, for – uh, every time he's like, oh, women's wrestling. He's like, you know, can't take it seriously, da-da-da. Then sometimes yeah. the girls are like, ah, oh, they're not that even good even, you know. Um, but so he says, you know, it was okay. But then we started getting an argument about, like, something called the victim kick. <laughs> it was a very unfortunate name. What's that? I have not heard of this. Yeah, it, apparently one of the names was called a, it was called as a victim kick. Um and he's like, "Well, that sounds like it's pertaining to 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 rape or something." And I was like, "Um, huh. you know, I don't okay, sure." <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that kind of stuff. I I think 
um, especially with like intergender sort of stuff, you have to be careful to not like ride that line of yeah. being like, hey, this is clearly a woman. Like, like you have to be like, oh, they're wrestlers and they're competitors, like in a sense. Like, I think um, there, there has to be a certain way you go about it. One of my favorite ever executions of intergender wrestling uh, ever has been from Chikara, how they treated Sarah Del Rey. Mm -hmm. um, she was treated like an equal. And, mm -hmm. you know, you, she worked with heels, but when she worked with heels, it was never like, I'm a heel and I'm a douchey dude who doesn't like women and I'm going to beat up a woman. Like, it was just all about, like, we're competitors and we have motivations and, you know, we're going to just, you know, beat the crap out of each other. Like, that's what it was. Um, so I think if anyone wants to model something um, um, for intergender wrestling, it would definitely be that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and there is some intergender in there. Uh, I believe there's a, a, comp uh, a match for uh, Beyond Wrestling where she wrestles uh, Mark Angel. Uh, who I mean, I really love that match. Uh, I think it really showcases Jessica Havoc's sort of different style. She's very much. I think when people look at the contrast of what they want out of women's wrestling, they want powerful characters. They want women that are are just beasts and and that dominate and that just don't take shit from anyone. To pardon a better term, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So uh, that's that's sort of the contrast. That's the that's the different style of women's wrestling that I think some of the independents are really going to try to provide. This Mark Angel is that the Mister Touchdown guy? It, yeah, uh, that's his. Uh, he, uh, that's his uh, main character when he wrestles for Beyond is Mark Angel. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, and there's a lot of her stuff in WSU. A lot of her promo work, uh, which I think rivals uh, most anyone. Uh, she's she knows how to sell a story. I think and, you know how I and, am about about long promos, and you sent me a promo that that runs the entire length of "Sweet Dreams" by Marilyn Manson. <laughs> uh, so, but still, it was it was okay. It was it was all right. It was, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. I guess. Um, I, 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 I I get. I love your. I really agree with your point about long promos. I've seen people before do like 14 minute promos. I'm like, how are you expecting anyone to watch that? Who wants? Like, who cares? You know. Who cares? That's what I get to with like a lot of these. Like, like, like. I, I think, I think, sometimes with indie wrestling, people think that the or you know, the wrestlers think that the their feud is more important than anybody else is going to think it is. So, like, they're not, they're not looking through the right eyes to it. You know what I mean? Right. And yeah. It's a roundabout way. It's a longer discussion for us to have, but in, we've had this discussion over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, of course, in in, in our old segment around this um but anyways yeah. uh so uh but no uh great 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 matches great collection of matches there um a really good because i she's, she's a name that always popped up especially with aiw you know mm -hmm. i think she's always part of the girls night out uh uh show that they do their you know their all lady show that they end up doing uh week uh yearly maybe twice a year maybe now um so. Uh, I want to say so, yeah. And then she's a Cleveland native. She, uh, I, I didn't include it in the actual playlist. There's an old match from like early in her career uh, for Cleveland All Pro Wrestling back at the Nautica, mm -hmm. uh, where they've done uh, PWO and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, where she wrestled Luna Vachon, um in a nice. hardcore match, and and that's definitely a uh, one that you should seek out. Um, but yeah, she's uh, definitely a uh, one that I would encourage you to check out. Current WSU World Champion, uh, and she's really taking the world by storm. So. Awesome. Um, yeah, go support Jessica Havoc uh, and, uh, yeah, support everything that she does. Um, we do have a challenge for this week, though. Uh, and this is a challenge that appeals, I would say, to both <laughs> myself and Servitron yes. um, for all of you guys to enjoy. Uh, uh, our challenge for this week is a resident originally from Cleveland, Ohio, now residing in Houston, Texas, and has taken both of those scenes by storm, and that's Ray Rowe. Um, who recently competed for Inspire Pro Wrestling uh, this past weekend. Uh, Ray, in my opinion, is – I because I, um, I first saw Ray about two years ago um, from his move to Texas, and I've been hearing about him for so long from you guys mm -hmm. uh, because you watched him in IWC and, and you saw him progress and, and, and all the stuff he's done. And ever since I've seen him, I don't think I've ever seen a bad Ray Rowe match. Uh, and he is that consistent. He's that good. He knows how he's a he's a crazy powerhouse. Um, can tell a story like no one else, I think. And now that he's wrestling for companies like Ring of Honor, now that he's getting that break, I guess you could say that well-deserved break 
um, he's going to, I think, really take the world by storm. And he's um, and you have a match in here, like the, a newer match where John McChesney actually came down to Texas and had a match with him. And, and, and right, I actually got to miss that match, sadly, but the video <laughs> on it is amazing. Yeah, um, and well, those and two, really... those two have had some a long-standing feud. I, I think at the time it was Fire Firestorm Pro that mm-hmm. ran in Cleveland, like a long time thing, and that's where like his wife got involved and all that kind of stuff. Um, and and uh, I have seen great stuff with him with the Cleveland Mafia. Uh, you know, uh, great match with Samoa Joe that they had in right. Summer Sizzler one year. Um, and it's it, it, warning: this will be us gushing over Ray Rowe next week when we yes. go over this playlist. So Absolutely, <laughs> go check that out at wrestling or YouTube.com. But if slash, you want to, yeah. yeah, if you want to watch it and and send in your thoughts and tell us what you think yes. about this, so it's not just us gushing over. We want to hear what you think. We want to hear what you have to say. So, um, yeah, go to youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show to see the playlist. But you aren't limited to the playlist. You can see anything Ray Rowe. You can even buy a Ray Rowe uh, DVD that he's featured on. Maybe at uh, sorgatronmedia.com. Oh, there's that plenty matter. of those. That's yeah, cool. there's tons of Ray Rowe matches on there. So awesome. um, that that's your challenge for this week. And let us know what you think of Ray Rowe, either by tweeting us at Mayhem Show. Facebooking us on our Facebook group, uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show, or sending us an email to goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com with the subject line indie, uh, letting us know what you think of Ray Rowe um, and, and tr- contributing to the conversation because we want to have a conversation about indie wrestlers. Yes, we want to yes. converse about what we like, what we don't like, and, and share our favorites and, and because that's what, what gets people excited about indie wrestling is seeing guys that they've never seen before and just – becoming immersed in them and loving them so um yeah definitely go support uh ray row and support that challenge uh awesome. for this week um and there's uh some upcoming indie events that i guess we can touch on sorg sure um there uh the big one uh this weekend is ring of honor's uh 12th year anniversary uh in philadelphia pennsylvania at the pennsylvania national guard armory which should be a very great show on the 21st which is this, is this? friday wait wait where are those clowns <laughs> what's going on oh <laughs> so, uh, that's uh, eddie kingston and the homicide they wear clown masks no way no yeah. way oh god yeah. i gotta catch up with tv here but yeah um the main event being adam cole defending the ring of honor world championship against chris hero uh, I believe AJ Styles will be taking on Jay Lethal. Uh, there's uh, tons of like really interesting matches I think on that card, uh, and that's at, like I said, and Philadelphia, PA at the Pennsylvania National Guard Armory this Friday. Uh, tickets at uh, ROHWrestling.com. Also, the day after that in Philadelphia is the ROH TV tapings as well as HonorCon, uh, which is the uh, the event that they're holding. Uh, there's different events that they're going to be having and uh, just sort of to support Ring of Honor. Also, there's rumor there's going to be some big announcements. So um, I, I definitely want to keep an eye on that and see um, what what could be happening there. Um, so there's um, a lot of interesting stuff happening in you know, uh, Ring of Honor, like I mentioned. Uh, go to ROHWrestling.com to go check that out. Um, also this weekend uh, in the Texas area, there's Anarchy Championship Wrestling, uh, an absence of law. Um, their uh, uh, annuary February event. Um, annuary February. That's a that's a sentence that I said on the internet. Sure. Um, and my job is to talk about wrestling. So that's. <laughs> oh boy. That's why it gets paid um, the yeah. big bucks, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, go to anarchychampionshipwrestling dot com to go get tickets for that. Uh, they're uh, slowly releasing matches, including Masada taking on Paul London. Um, so go support them, and that's at the Mohawk this Sunday. Um, also, wrestling is fun. I believe has a show uh, coming up this weekend of uh, sort of um, in the tales of the uh, reemergence of Chikara uh, to come on May 25th. Um, so there should be some uh, really interesting developments. I think from that show. Uh, that's February 22nd, which is this Saturday uh, in Reading, Pennsylvania, for Man of Peel. I see what they did there. Um, cause it's, they fight over a banana. Um, Amasis, uh, versus the Estonian Thunder Frog for that very banana. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting Chikara. Uh, uh, you can tell you've been is. announcing for, for, by the way you've been doing that. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, there's looks like some really good matches on this card, so I definitely uh, go check them out and support them. You can go get tickets at wrestlingisfun.org, and that's in Reading, Pennsylvania, this Saturday uh, for Man of Peel at the Goodwill Beneficial Association. So uh, go support them. Go support indie wrestling all over the place uh, because there's so many companies. There's so many ways you can um, uh, go support your local talents. Uh, go, go to a, go to a wrestling show. Go buy merch. Go cheer and boom your head off because it's what helps the scene and what helps make it grow. So definitely go do that this weekend and every weekend for that matter. Awesome. And of course, if you want to check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, all kinds of different places. And of course, follow WrestlingMayhemShow.com on Google Plus on. Uh, Facebook as well, the Great Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group where a lot of discussion is happening about indies, about main wrestling, whatever. Kind of not wrestling sometimes. Sometimes cardboard <laughs> stand-ups of Roman Reigns and how they're going to get soggy and pinatas about wrestling with beef jerky that rumor may be inside them. That's just a preview of what happens everywhere on this network. <laughs> and it's, that's a good summation. <laughs> and that's a good summation. That's pretty much the idea, right? Uh, you Absolutely. can also drop us a line Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You know, in the other show, we like to say good times and sing it along. Uh, we're having a little challenge. You guys can call in at 412-206-WMS0. We want to hear you give your good times, and we might mix it all together for a fun little spot on the show, uh, a little bit of fan participation. We'll see if it works out. I just want to see if people will do it. Uh, use that phone line. Make sure the phone's still on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll help. <laughs> there you go. No, nah, it's good. It's good. I think I got to fix the message on there, though. And, uh, you know, check out all those places. Of course, you can join us live here uh, every Tuesday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com for the live feed. You can join us in the chat room, ask questions along the way and everything. Um, and uh, or you can bump that up two hours at 9 p.m. Eastern Time for the Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we talk about everything else, WWE, TNA, life in general. Uh, all night long here, of course, at live.sorgatronmedia.com. With that, hey, go uh, watch some mini wrestling. Huh? Never said I was a gangster or thug, but I'm an animal. Eating for the oh. taste of the poor. Sing, sing, sing. You know how I act now. If you got a problem, come and see.